Hey guys, welcome back to vlog number 10. This is a very special episode because I have the expert farm hand, Tim Schubert, here with me. And we're going to answer some questions from year three and four students over in New South Wales, Cromer Public School. So, hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel and thank you for watching. And we will get down to business by answering a few of these questions. So, let's get into the vlog. Okay, firstly I'd like to thank Susan for organising all these school letters and the kids, we really appreciate it here at Shoebugs. It's really cool to see how many kids enjoy our YouTube channel and the reason why these school kids actually watch our YouTube channel is because there's a program and it's part of the school curriculum over in New South Wales to learn about the sustainability of food and where their food comes from and the program is called Paddock to Plate and we're really excited to show some of the questions here from the kids today. So let's do it. Throughout the letters there were some general themes that we had from the kids and the first question was, do the crickets escape from their containers? It's, most of the crickets all stay in their containers because um, there's food, water, uh, and they can hide in the egg cart. Uh, we get the occasional one that jumps out, but yeah, we just catch them and put them back in the tubs. Another very popular question that we got from the kids was, when did we start farming crickets? So a little over 12 months ago, I started farming crickets in Adelaide, just in my garage. And earlier in the YouTube channel, you can actually go back and watch videos. I think one, two, three, and maybe even four, they're all down in Adelaide. And around about six months ago, we brought all the crickets up onto the Riverland, which is my hometown where dad lives now. And he's been taking on the cricket farming ever since then. Hence why we have all the shipping containers because we couldn't have this in Adelaide. The next question that we have is, do you eat your dead crickets? No, we don't eat our dead crickets, um, but Zachary being an, an athlete, he's actually been eating them by overseas and stuff like that. And in the future, we hope to uh, eat them, but uh, not at this stage. One of my favorite questions that we got from the kids was how long do the crickets live for? And when we first started cricket farming, we Googled to see how long the lifespan of a cricket is. And Google told us there was only 90 days. But in recent times, we found something a bit different. We have them here at six months old at the moment. So that's almost double of what Google told us. And to make sure that the crickets are still producing eggs, we actually isolated one of the breeding beds that we put into the, into the adult cricket containers, and it's still producing eggs, which is pretty cool. A few of the kids in the class uh, asked a good question, which is, uh, how old are teenage crickets? Hmm. Zachary. So we find that a teenage cricket is anywhere between about a month to two months old and that's what we consider a teenager cricket and they normally sit around about one and a half centimetres long so anything smaller than that is considered a baby and anything larger than one and a half centimetres is considered an adult. Another good one is um, do you make any money from cricket, Zachary? So this is a great question. So right now we're not actually selling any of our crickets because we just bought a new shipping container and we're trying to increase the population size. So in recent times we have been selling to pet shops and other lizard pet owners that want to use the crickets for feed. And we will continue to do that in the future, but we also have a goal of selling for human consumption because crickets have such a low impact on the environment and it could be a really great thing for our region where we currently live. Another one, Zachary, do they fly? So that's the reason why we've been farming crickets because they're one of the insects that don't actually fly away from you. Uh, you can farm different insects like, take for instance, grasshoppers, and we don't actually farm grasshoppers because they'd be getting out of the containers too much. So for crickets, if they were flying, they'd be flying all over the container. So we're very lucky that they just stay in their boxes and don't move. And the last question from the kids is, do these crickets make a sound? So if we listen very carefully, the crickets are making almost a chirping noise and only the males make this noise and they start making this noise at two to two and a half months old and that's the way that we tell that the crickets are ready to start breeding and that's when we put the breeding soil into the adult containers. So once again, thank you guys for all your questions that you sent through and I really encourage anyone else who is watching the YouTube channel to send any questions they have through. They can leave the questions below in the comments on the YouTube channel or you can send us an email at shoebugs at gmail.com and you can also get in touch with us on Instagram if you have any other questions, just send a DM on there. So thank you once again and we'll see you next time in the vlog. Bye.